Hello! So, Incoming is a vlog, and I totally spoiled parts of In the Afterlight. So, every time you see this image on the screen, it means that a spoiler is coming up, and you can mute it, and then once the symbol goes away, spoilers will not be happening. But, it's been like three years, four years since In the Afterlight came out. So, just warning, fair warning, there are spoilers coming up. Forward to the vlog! Hello. It is me from Sunday, October 22nd, around 9.48 p.m. I am currently reading In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. I'm on page 276. This is about the halfway point in this book and I've been reading this book for so many days in a row and I couldn't understand why it was taking me so long to get through this book. And I realized that I was watching Pull and Banana's books and she made a point and said it seemed like this book took so long because they weren't moving anywhere. But I do know someone dies. Uh, uh-huh. And I, it's just taking me so long. I'm also reading The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. I'm listening to this on audiobook. And I'm on page 194. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good because I just started the audiobook two days ago. So I should be done with that relatively soon and that's where I'm at at 10 o'clock on a Sunday I have no work tomorrow so I'm really trying to see if I can finish in the afterlight maybe finish another book tomorrow probably not but we'll see I read about 60 pages and I got to a very emotional part where Liam and Ruby broke up and I don't know how to handle it because in one instance Liam should have just left Ruby alone because she was upset like he went behind her back and I get it because Ruby's kept a lot of secrets but he should have just left her and let her be mad. And and now my heart hurts. <laughs> and I still have 200 pages to read. So it's almost 1 a.m. Up on page 372. And the book is dragging uh, it's so bad and it's because they literally have been staying in the same spot the entirety of the book other than the beginning when they were headed to the ranch and then the one part when they went to Oasis they have been at the ranch the whole time and I can't take it it is it is annoying it's not very action filled. The most exciting part was when Zoo talked. That was exciting. But like other than that, I'm just like distraught over Ruby and Liam. And I have like 150 pages to go. I can't, I can't, it's so, it's so annoying, because I really enjoy the characters, I enjoy the world, I enjoy the story, but it's dragging because nothing is happening. It is almost 2 in the morning, I'm on page 417, which means I just have a little over 100 pages to go, and things are panning out much better. Um, 
I'm tempted to stay up and finish it, but it will be about another hour and I am really tired. But I feel like I could push through the last hundred pages tomorrow because it's so, it's so much. So, calling it a night, 1.50 a.m. Hi, so it's Monday, October 23rd now. I got some good sleep. It's around 9.30. I'm off to see my friend because she's going to be doing my hair. And I'm really hungry, so I'm going to stop and get some coffee. And I'm also going to get some food. And I'm going to read while I am at the hairdresser. I'm still reading The Son of Neptune on audiobook. And I brought in the afterlight with me. And I can't wait for it to be over. Not because it's a bad book. Because I really do enjoy the book. But it's just taking me so long because it's dragging. I've talked about this. It's fine. Anyway, I will check in later. Bye. <sighs> hey, so it's around 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, while I was getting my hair done, I did read in the afterlight. And things happened. You know, we're going to talk about that in my book talk that I have. So I have about 50 pages left in in the afterlight. And I... I'm getting back to enjoying it because they're not in the at the ranch. So I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to read the last 50 pages and see how this story resolves. And then film a book talk because this book hit me hard in the feels. And I can't let it give me a book hangover. So I have to jump from this book. I think I might read a contemporary afterwards because... It's too much. It's too much. Meh. So, that's what I'm up to. I got food and I'm headed home. And I'm going to finish in the afterlight. You you just watch me. Hello. It is 3.15 in the afternoon and I finished it. I finished in the afterlight. It is finished. It is done. The trilogy is complete. And I'm so happy. I, it took me forever and a day to get through this book and I feel so accomplished for getting through this book. Um, I am still reading The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan on audiobook in my car. That's going to take a little while to get through. But I am so thrilled right now because it took me so long to get through this book and I finally finished it. I have no idea what I'm going to read next. There's so many books I have to read. So, I th think I'll update you when I decide to start a new physical book. I'm not sure which one I'm going to choose next because this one, I think I need something that I'm going to fly through. But I don't know. So, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I finished. Yay! <laughs>